Welcome to the lecture series of Digital Electronic. Now, today we discuss the exclusive or, or equivalence function. So, this function are also known as a exclusive OR gate and which is helpful for the specific type of the designing, uh, specific application in combination circuits. Exclusive OR EX OR, also known as an equivalence gate. The symbol of exclusive OR is a, in circle, there is a plus sign is that and it will become the boolean function is x y dash plus x dash y while equivalence function it is a symbolic from a big circle into one dot and the exclusive x equivalence y is equal to x y plus x dash y dash in the exclusive or gate 0 1 and 1 0 these two combination the output is 1 while here 0 0 or 1 1 in these two combination the output is 1 so both are have a complement to each other also the two operation complement to each other and each commutative commutative and associative because of these two properties a function of three or more variable can be expressed without the parenthesis as uh, follow like as that okay because the are commutative and associative remember that thing this would be imply the possibility of using the exclusive or, or equivalence gate with the three or more input however multiple input exclusive or are very on economical form of hardware standpoints in fact the two input functions is usually constructed with the type of gates for example uh, implementation uh, exclusive or AND or NOT functions, we can also implement with the help of uh, NAND gates are there. Okay, so like as the X dash Y plus Y dash X, this function, <coughs> so we can replace by the NOT and NAND gate. So this is the behavior, like as a universal gate, we can also implement the uh, exclusive OR gate. Uh, here, uh, X and Y whole dash and into X whole dash, so it will become X Y dash bar and by this x bar and this NAND gate is uh, removing the bar so x x dash y plus y dash x in this way uh, it can be implemented the uh, NAND gate combinations behave like as a exclusive OR gate now for exclusive OR gate so the numerical value of the mean terms is represent okay uh, the function can be expressed in terms of exclusive or four variables also. So, magnifications uh, a dash b plus a dash, a, a dash b x or c dash d plus uh, c dash d dash. Uh, we expand the first two and last two. So, the again as per the norms it will become uh, x y dash. So, x and y dash plus x dash y. Okay. And a b dash plus a dash b is complement is a b a dash b dash okay remember that thing here not down the simply express we use the expression here this one and x so this is x dash and this is our y dash so x dash here it is y okay so finally we obtained that it is a combination of 1 2 4 7 8 11 13 and 14 this this is the kmap representation of four variable exclusive or functions or equivalence functions but equivalence function is in opposite direction this is the equivalence function okay the equivalence function is in opposite direction. Uh, what are the remaining? Suppose here the first and th so third is remaining, the first and third. Second row, second and four. So second and four, second row. Third row, first, th third is left. So it is for equivalence. So in this way, we can say that the equivalence plus exclusive over is a whole universe. So, n variable equivalence expression is equal to the boolean function with the 
2 raised to n by 2 mean terms. Means whatever. Suppose here uh, 4 variables are there. So how many? 32. 32 divided by 2, 16. So 16 represent the 4 variable equivalence circuits or 4 variable equivalence circuits. So this demonstration uh, map for zone so this 4 variable k map. The square with once represent 8 mean terms with an even number of zeros and with the uh, function can be expressed in terms of equivalence operation of the four variable. When the number of variable in function is odd, the mean terms with an even number zeros are the same like as the mean terms of odd number of ones. This, this de the demonstration the three variable map. Okay, three variable map suppose here. So, when here, what's the function is odd. The mean terms with an even number of zeros and the same mean terms is odd number of ones. Even number, so here odd number of ones are there. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 0. Odd number of that there. And exclusive expression is equivalent to the expression of both have the same odd number of function. See, both have a same odd number of function, equivalence or equivalence. But if in reverse order, this one, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's a one here equivalence and x or exclusive or an equivalence, both functionality as there. So, when the mean terms of a function with an odd number of variable 3, 5, 7, uh, even number of ones the, of the function can be expressed as the complement of either or exclusive or or equivalence expression for this three variable functions shown in this expression. Remember that thing. Uh, three variable, the function uh, came up this same one. Even variable 2, 4, 6, 8, it is complement to each other. So, <coughs> the S output of the full adder and D subtractor can be implemented exclusive or because each function consists of a four min terms with the numerical value have a odd number of ones and the exclusive or function is extensively used to implementation of digital arithmetic operation because the latter are usually implemented through the process procedure for requirement of addition or subtraction operation. The exclusive or equivalence functions are very useful to system require error detecting and error correcting code. Remember that thing it is in digital communication. Uh, when the two or three bits data are transmitting from long far away, at that time the error may be generated. So one special signal generated with the data set, it is called as a parity bit. Parity, odd parity and even parity, two type of the parity is there. So odd parity means the number of ones will become uh, odd, generated. Okay, let's see, take one example. Suppose my three bit message and parity bit is there and odd parity is generated. So always the number of ones must be odd. So here, 0, 0, 0 is the message. So parity, there is no one. So one odd number of one must be required. 0, 0, 1. How many times one is there? one time so there is no need of parity parity is zero zero one zero similarly only one odd time so there is no need zero one one two one times one is that so one parity is required one zero zero there is again odd so no parity is required one zero zero one zero one even time once two time once so th there is required one so it will become odd 1, 1, 0, 2 times 1 is there, so that is required 1 odd, 1 parity odd, 1, 1, 1 odd time, 3 times 1 are there, so there is no required the parity bit. So when we draw the parity bit output, it is look like as in this way, okay, and the equation is P exclusive, X exclusive or Y equivalence Z or X equivalence Y exclusive or Z. Any one of this, this is called as a odd parity generator. Parity bt is such a way that the total number of ones are odd. Remember that thing. Total number of ones are odd. This is at the transmitter side. Now, similarly, same thing we have to detect at the receiver side. Then and then the parity generator, this is parity generator or checker, uh, sorry, generator circuit is that we have required the 
same parity error detected at the receiver side. Okay, now here x, y, and z. This is the circuit diagram of parity bit. So parity bit will be transmitted with the x, y, z. Now at receiver side, it's check. Parity check bit is that if it is so one, it is error. Now x, y, z, our odd parity must be one, but here it is zero. So it shows there is error. Okay. It is required one. Similarly, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So there is required parity bit of 0. But if parity bit is 1 in this combination, the error will be so. Okay. This is the second combination. Now, third combination is 0, 1, 0 message. 0, 1, 0 is obviously no parity. But if receiver send one parity, that means there is error. So in this way, Error can be detected. If my message is 0, 1, 1, x, y, z is 0, 0, 1, 1, and so 1, 1, so uh, there is require one parity, p must be 1. If p is 0, there is error. Okay, similarly, the last 1, 1, 1, 3 odd are there, so there is no parity, result is, there is no error, but if the parity bit is 1, then error will be shown there. So in this is the parity checker C. C is the parity checker. So we put in KMAP the whole this. Uh, now total how many inputs are there at the receiver side? 3 bit input plus 1 parity bit. Odd parity bit. So that means the C is equal to X, Y, Z, P in terms. We substitute the simply 1 of the check bit. And expression is say that C checker is equal to x equivalence uh, y equivalence z equivalence p so equivalence gate this is the circuit to find out the logical diagram for parity checker and consists of a three input equivalence gate is that okay so in work nothing the parity generator can be implemented with the circuit as shown in this thing if the input p is permanently held the logic zero the output is marked P. The advantages of being that the same circuit can be used for the both parity generation and parity checker. It is obviously from the foregoing example that the parity generation and checking circuit always have an output function that includes half of the mean terms whose numerical value have either even or odd number of ones. Uh, consequently, it can be implemented with the equivalence or exclusive or case. And I hope is it making sense. Uh, then proceed for the next topic.